Shepherd of souls, refresh and bless thy chosen pilgrim flock. With men lie in the wilderness, with water God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Fill the thoughts of our hearts with the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory, Glory to God, God in the highest. And peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Do, 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 do. 
Let us pray. O oh God, God, whose Son, son Jesus, Jesus is the good shepherd of your people, people grant that, that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated for the readings. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now in Joppa there was a discipline, disciple, thank you. Now in Joppa there was a disciple whose name was Tabitha, which in Greek is Dorcas. She was devoted to good works and acts of charity. At that time she became ill and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in a room upstairs. Since little was near Joppa, the disciples who heard that Peter was there sent two men to him with the request, please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them, and when he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs. All the widows stood before, beside him, weeping and showing tunics and other clothing that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter put all of them outside, and then he knelt down and prayed. He turned to the body and said, Tabitha, get up. Then she opened her eyes, and seeing Peter, she sat up. He gave her his hand and helped her up. Then calling the saints and widows, he showed her to be alive. This became known throughout Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. Meanwhile, he stayed in Joppa for some time with a certain Simon, a tanner. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The psalm today is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall, I shall not be in want. want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. And leads, and leads me, me beside still, still waters. waters. He revives my soul. And guides, guides me, along me along right, right pathways for his, for his name's sake. sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For you, for you are, are with me. me. Your rod and your staff, they, they comfort, comfort me. me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have, you have anointed, anointed my head with oil, oil and, my and my cup, cup is, is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The second reading is from the Revelation to St. John. I looked and there was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, singing, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to the God forever and to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me saying, Who are these robed in white and where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one that knows. Then he said to me, these are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they are before the throne of God and worship him day and night within his temple, and the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd and he will guide them to springs of the water of life, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. Shepherd, like a shepherd, lead us, watch we need the in thy pleasant pastures feed us, for our use thy folds prepare. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, thou hast bought 
gospel of our Savior, Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory, Glory to you, you, O Christ. At that time, the festival of the dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you're the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you, but you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you don't believe because you don't belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. In the name of the Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer. Amen. Every year on this Sunday, we read passages related to Jesus, the Good Shepherd. We call this Good Shepherd some Sunday. And sometimes there's a temptation to talk about how we're all a bunch of sheep, but it's not good sheep Sunday. It's good shepherd Sunday. So today we have this opportunity to wonder, what is God like? What is God like? And what is remarkable is that even though God is so big and great and mysterious, God is not a complete mystery to us. And Jesus says, well, you know what a shepherd is like? That's going to help you know what God is like. And so by these really wonderful examples of things that are familiar, we can get a glimpse into imagining the unimaginable. So for us, it can be a little hard to even under, imagine what a shepherd is like because we're here in the metro Boston area and we don't necessarily hang out with a bunch of shepherds. Um, I've been watching a show called Critter Fixers. Has anyone seen this? Okay, this is a really wonderful program. It's called Critter Fitter, Fixers. It is about these two vets that um, have a practice in rural Georgia. And um, they, their motto is critter fixers, we fix them all. So they will see cats and dogs and birds, but they will also deal with the rescue alligators and the lizard who decided to see if it could fly and found out it couldn't and the rat somebody brought in, and the baby bunny, and the owl, and the little hurt sparrow. They do see a lot of animals on farms. It's rural Georgia, and so they see a lot of goats. Sometimes they see sheep, it's a lot of goats. And um, what is so remarkable about these, these men is the profound love and care they have for the creatures of God, no matter how tiny, how wild, how disturbing, right? They had these, these um, snakes come in that were extremely poisonous and there was no antivenom available. <laughs> They had to deal with these snakes, right? They fixed them all. So I think that is such a wonderful icon for us to get a window into what is God like? What is God like? God is like someone who says, I will take all of them. No creature is outside my realm of care. I will love them all. I will care for them all. 
when the creatures are um, not able to come into the vet, these vets will put on their coveralls, they will go out into the mud, out into the farms, and they'll meet the animals where they are. When the animals just, it's in their nature to try to rip out their stitches or to kick or to bite or to do anything, they don't blame the animals. They say that's just their nature. How can we work with their nature? How can we give them the cone or something like that that is going to allow them to just be who they are and also heal? And so when we have, when we wonder what is God like, it's remarkable that we have these images of things that are so much like the things of our world, give us windows. Not to say, well, God is simply a shepherd or God is simply a rural country vet, but if humans can be so compassionate, how much more compassionate can God be? If if a human can see a little rat and give this little rat the kind of care that it would give the most beloved human, how much more does God care? This gives us a window into God's incredible love and compassion for all creation and for us. No matter how ornery we are, no matter how much we fight God, God loves us so much. So know that you belong to Jesus the Good Shepherd. You belong to him. You're in his care. You are treasured, you can feel safe knowing that you have the protection of the Good Shepherd. Amen. We continue turning to page six. Let us stand and confess our trust in God using the ancient word of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, God the Father, Father, the Almighty, the Almighty maker, maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, and earth of all, all that, that is seen, seen and unseen. unseen. We believe, believe in, in one, one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, only the only Son of God, God eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, God light from light, light true God, God from true, true God, God, begotten not, not made, of one of being, one with, being the Father. with the Father. Through him, him all things were made. For, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became, he became incarnate, incarnate from, from the Virgin Mary, Mary and was, and was made, made a man. For our sake, he was, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He suffered death, death and was buried. buried. On, On the, the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come, come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom, kingdom will have no end. We believe in the, believe Holy, in the Spirit, Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver, the giver of, life, of life, who proceeds from the from Father and the Son. With the Father, the Father and the Son, she, she is worshipped and glorified. She has spoken, spoken through the prophets. We believe, we believe in, in one holy, Catholic, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge, we acknowledge one, one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, for the, sins, for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. We continue with the prayers of the people. Awake, O sleeper, rise from death. And Christ, Christ will, will give, give you, you life. life. Bring newness and change to your world, O God, that all might know the goodness of your love. Awake, O world, rise from death. And, and Christ, Christ will, will give, give you, you life. life. Bring newness and change to our nation, O oh God, that each person might share and honor the other. Awake, O oh nation, rise from death. And Christ, Christ will give you life. Give you life. 
Bring newness and change to our communities, O God, that all of us might become agents of peace and justice. Awake, O people, rise from death. And Christ, Christ will, will give you life. life. Bring newness and change to your church, O God, that we might serve you with courage and grace. We pray for our presiding Bishop Michael, for our bishops, Alan and Gail, all lay people, deacons and priests. We also pray for the parishes of the Concord River Deanery, St. Mark's Chapel and St. Mark's School in Southborough, St. Elizabeth's Church, Sudbury, St. Peter's Church, Weston, the Ministry of the Dias Diocesan Altar Guild and all altar guilds. Awake, O church, rise from death. And Christ, and Christ will give, will give you, you life. life. Bring newness and change for the suffering, O God, that they might know your saving grace. For all refugees. Suzanne was saying for David Pauling, who entered hospice care. For Reverend Sue, who wrote to me and sends her love and asks your prayers. Awake, O sorrowful, rise from death. And Christ will give, give you life. life. Bring newness and change to even the departed, O oh God, that they might forever grow in your likeness. We pray for Judith and David Gillette, whose funeral was yesterday. Awake, O oh saints, rise from death. And Christ, and Christ will, will give, give you life. life. Bring newness and change to our hearts, O oh God, that we might grow larger in faith and hope. Awake, O oh soul, rise from yeah. death. And, and Christ, Christ will, will give, give you life. life. God of peace and justice, we pray for the people of Ukraine today. We pray for peace and the laying down of weapons. We pray for all those who fear for tomorrow, that your spirit of comfort would draw near to them. We pray for those with power over war or peace, for wisdom, discernment, and compassion to guide their decisions. Above all, we pray for all your precious children at risk and in fear that you would hold and protect them. We pray in the name of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Awake, O soul, rise from death. And Christ, and Christ will, will give, you give you life. Awake, O sleeper, rise from death. For Christ has burst forth from the tomb, making all things new. Rise and live, says the Lord. This day God has made for life and all joy. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, also with, with you. you. During this pandemic, your offerings of time, talent. I'm so sorry. <laughs> peace be with you all. During this pandemic, your offerings of time, talent, and treasure mean more than ever. Church of Our Savior has set up online giving on the parish website. You can go to www.church-of-r-savior.org and click on the blue donate button. Checks can still be mailed to the church, and we will be taking up a physical offering for those who are worshiping in the church today. Thank you so much for your generosity. And so now, with gladness, present the offerings and oblations of our life and labor to the Lord. And we will have just silence during this time. The, the hymn is too hard to sing a cappella.
I'm you to stand if you're able. We give thanks for all the blessings of this life, especially those we name either silently in our hearts or aloud. For the gift of children and grandchildren and the adoptions that made it possible. Yes. Parents and grandparents. Parents and grandparents <laughs> made their children possible. We give thanks for the best little choir in the world who make a joyful noise unto the Lord, even when our, our musician is on um, having a sick day. And we give thanks for this community that shows us that liturgy really does mean the work of the people. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. All thanks and praise are yours at all times and in all places, our true and loving God, through Jesus Christ, your eternal word, the wisdom from on high by whom you created all things. You laid the foundations of the world and enclosed the sea when it burst out of the womb. You brought forth all creatures of the earth and gave breath to humankind. Wondrous are you, holy one of blessing. All you create is a sign of hope for our journey, and so as the morning stars sing your praises, we join the heavenly beings in all creation as we shout with joy. Oh. creator of all. Your word has never been silent. You called a people to yourself as a light to the nations. You delivered them from bondage and led them to a land of promise. Of your grace, you gave Jesus to be human, to share our life, to proclaim the coming of your holy reign and give himself for us a fragrant offering. Through Jesus Christ, our redeemer, you have freed us from sin, brought us into your life, reconciled us to you and restored us to the glory and you intend for us. We thank you that on the night before he died for us, Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his friends and said, take, eat, this is my body broken for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, Jesus took the cup of wine, again, said the blessing, said it to, gave it to his friends and said, drink this, all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. 
And so remembering all that was done for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection and ascension, longing for Christ's coming in glory and presenting to you these gifts. Your earth has formed and human hands have made. We acclaim you, O Christ. Dying, Dying you destroyed, you destroyed our, our death. death. Rising, Rising, you restored, restored our, our life. Christ, Christ Jesus, Jesus, come in glory. glory. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts of bread and wine that they may be to us the body and blood of your Christ. Grant that we, burning with your Spirit's power, may be a people of hope, justice, and love. Giver of life, draw us together in the body of Christ, and in the fullness of time, gather us with all your people into the joy of our true eternal home. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, we worship you, our God and Creator, in voices of unending praise. Blessed are you, now and forever. Amen. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come, your will, will be, done be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let, let us keep, keep the feast. feast. Alleluia. Alleluia. These are the gifts of God for all the people of God. Everybody is welcome at Christ's table, no matter what. As a reminder, we will form a circle if you're worshiping here in the building. Um, if there are too many people for one circle, that's okay. We'll form one circle and then we'll form a later circle. So get in a circle, we'll all get the communion and then we'll all eat it at the same time along with our friends who are worshiping at home. And if there is a need for a second circle, the first circle will sit down, second circle will um, and again, wait until all um, your neighbors have gotten communion and we'll all take it together. Um. Okay. <laughs> Beloved children of God, the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. You may be seated.
and will be available immediately after the service for anyone who would like individual prayers. Um, today's Mother's Day. It is a great holiday for some, and it's a really hard holiday for other people. So if you need prayers for the way that matches you and whatever's going on in your life, I'm happy to do that. Is there anyone who would like some general prayers right now? Yes, this is Cody. Cody, yeah, absolutely. Who else? Um, for Jacqueline and the Wilkinson family. Absolutely. Who else? Can you say that a little bit louder? For learning. I heard her here first. I did. Anything else? Well, for learning, for those who are working to learn, for Cody and Sarah, for the Wilkinson family, we pray that God will come so close to you and that you will come so close to God that you will know how much God loves you. May you know that Jesus is your good shepherd who sees you, who sees you individually, and who cares about you deeply and will do all that Jesus can to care for you and support you and love you into your very best, most beautiful self. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. to the bottom of page 14. Turning to the bottom of page 14, let us stand and confess our trust in God using the ancient words of the Nicene Creed. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Fiona, is everything okay out there? Okay. May God, who has redeemed us and made us his children through the resurrection of God's Son, our Lord, bestow upon you the riches of God's blessing. Amen. May God, who through the waters of baptism has raised from us from sin into newness of life, make you holy and worthy to be united with Christ forever. Amen. Amen. May God, who has brought us out of bondage into true and lasting freedom in the Redeemer, bring you to your eternal inheritance. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of God, our creator, redeemer, and sustainer, be upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The King of Love, my Shepherd is, whose goodness faileth
Alleluia, alleluia. Let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. And there is no postlude today, so we will conclude and have time for announcements. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. This concludes our, our online Eucharist. Permission to podcast, stream the music, and this service was obtained from one license, license number 700180A, all rights reserved. We will stop the recording now, but keep the Zoom going for another 15 minutes or so to offer some time for announcements and socializing. Recording stopped.